Don't creep up on a girl like that. You okay? You look down in the dumps. You shouldn't push yourself so much. You weren't the healthiest kid, you know? Do you have to keep reminding me? It's been ages since I've been sick. I know, but I still can't help but worry. I still appreciate it. But I'm worried too. About what? That do-gooder nature of yours. In case you've forgotten, it's what got us into this mess. Maybe you shouldn't have come in the first place. I'm here for my own reasons, thank you. Like what? Those Spyrexes are trouble. I want to destroy them. Because Mila said so? That's part of it. But I've actually seen one before. Seriously? It was a really long time ago. I know how terrifying those things are. Why are you trying to destroy the Spyrexes in the lands of Kresnik? Because Mila said so? N no that's not why. If you need a reason... You don't have one? I, I do. I just rather keep it to myself. All right. You know, destroying the Lance of Kresnik is the last thing on our to-do list. Huh? What are your plans afterward? Will you head back to Fenmon and finish becoming a doctor? Or will you come home to La Ronde? I haven't had a chance to decide yet. One thing at a time. We just need to finish what we've started. Yeah. You're right. Let's finish this job together. You got it. I wonder what Mila's going to do when this is all over. healed up? Don't worry about it. It was my slip-up. Yeah, but still. Huh? You having problems casting spirit arts lately? I've failed like a million times by now. You too? It's like the spirits aren't even there to help us anymore. Just like back at Fenmont. I bet this is the Lance of Kresnik's influence. Hey, this guy's saying the spirits are disappearing, and it's the King of Rashagal's fault. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about such things. The spirits would never leave us. Honestly, do you get a kick out of spreading tall tales? They don't believe me. Of course not. You can't just tell them something like that out of the blue. I guess I'm just a shady guy. The townspeople don't trust me, and neither do you. Hey, that's not true. Oh? I save your life, and suddenly you trust me again? You're still a big fat liar. But a trusting one. Throughout this whole trip, you've never doubted a thing I told you. 
Even when I said the spirits had disappeared, you believed me on the spot. Because it's the truth. When someone uses a spyric, spirits die. It's cause and effect. What are you trying to say? Well, it's no skin off my nose if spirits wink out of existence. But it's another story if the result is we humans suffer. But spirits are living things too. Listen to you. You're sounding more and more like the great Maxwell every day. That wasn't the point. Don't make fun of me. I'm not trying to. I just mean you finally started talking like a bona fide grown up. Huh? Like Mila, huh? I wonder if I can protect humans and spirits too. Thanks. <laughs> Times like this, I miss being a kid. Life was so simple. Thank you.